everybody, it's Anya, the adult doll and toy collector. Welcome back to the small plastic world. Today, I am continuing with my series of unboxing dolls that I got as gifts in December. Today, I've got Barbie Extra number 19. This she is my first Barbie Extra. So quick confession time. I bought this doll for myself because I found her at a really good price at Burlington, which is kind of a discount department store. Initially, I wanted this doll for these boots. I know you can't see them well. We're gonna get her out of the package. One of my many dioramas I'm working on is I'm making the goth nightclub of my dreams. And it was like Mattel knew that and created these boots for me to use in that diorama. I didn't know about these boots initially, but as soon as I found out, I saw them on the internet and I thought, oh, I need this doll, I need this doll. But at the time, I couldn't find this doll on the shelves. In fact, I wasn't seeing a lot of the Barbie extras at all, especially not this doll. I finally caved and I got just the boots on eBay without the doll for a reasonable price with the shipping and I spray painted them black. I didn't do the greatest job. As you can see, they got a little textured here because I'm not patient and did not take my time like I should have, but I still think they look very cool being black. What I'd like to do is to take some silver paint that I have and paint the buckles also. So I'll probably do that at a later date. But honestly, they took a long time to dry with the spray paint and I was kind of afraid I'd ruined the boots and that they wouldn't look right. So I figured, well, I didn't get the doll, but at least, you know, I got the boots. They'll work on a different doll for the diorama and that's fine. But then there I was in Burlington looking at the dolls and here she was and I was all excited because I thought, well, let me check the price. If it's a good price, I'm going to pick her up because the more I saw this doll on the internet and saw like, you know, people's photos of her out of the box and everything, the more I thought, you know, the little wardrobe change, she would work very well in that nightclub diorama and she could wear her own boots. Burlington had her price at $9.99, which I thought, you know, I'm a cheap queen. I like my cheap dolls, but I thought $9.99 for this doll was actually a good price. So I grabbed her up. According to the box, she has 15 styling pieces and she's got this pet. I mean, I don't really care about the pet, but it's cute. I am going to get her and all of her accessories and everything out of the package, and I'll be right back. Oh, head kajinkers, and there's three of them. Are they blasting these dolls into space? Why must they have so many things holding them in the package? I get that they want the doll to stay in the package and look nice and also maybe deter thieves or something, but still. On the plus side, at least with this plastic, I won't cut her hair when I cut these. So here are the things that came on the side of her package. These little stickers, these cool green glasses, this little silver plastic purse with this round handle and an alien on it. The back is plain and it does not open. She has this pet, obviously a panda. The fur around his eyes is shaped like a flower and a heart, which is kind of interesting. Here he is from the back. The panda has a purple plastic guitar with a bunch of designs on it. It's plain in the back, but it's got some nice detail. Looks like strings and the tuning knobs. What are these things called? <laughs> Comment down below if you know. It actually has a working strap so the panda can wear the guitar. The panda does not have any points of articulation. He's just one solid piece. Here is our gorgeous doll. Oh, she's really pretty. She's very striking. She's so much prettier out of the package too. I love her makeup. I think her makeup is perfect for my diorama. She's a little pixelated, you can see in the eyes, but she has painted brown eyes with green eyeshadow and the hot pink designs and her eyebrows are sort of a pinky purple color, like a mauve and this really pretty dark lip. Her hair is mostly dark brown, but it's got a couple shades in it when she's got this beautiful 
pink hair on either side of her face. One part of it is in a twist held together with a yellow rubber band and then there's just some hair that is not twisted but is also the same color. It's really pretty. She has this neat silver hair band on. I believe it's one piece but it kind of looks like three pieces and it looks like spikes. She has two choker style necklaces. One is a shiny metallic silver and one is orange plastic. Her outfit is this cropped hot pink hoodie. It's got sort of wide sleeves. I feel like there's a word for that. If you know, comment down below. And hoodie on the front has all of these motifs. Here is the hood. It looks kind of oversized. The back is plain and it opens and closes with Velcro. The doll's hair is thick, but you can put the hood on. Sometimes the hoods on the Barbie hoodies aren't really functional and they can't really fit on the doll's head, so this is nice. And then the doll is wearing this plaid skirt. It's made hot pink but there's also blue and yellow and black and white so it's very colorful and then there's these shiny dots all over it so it catches the light and she's got a green plastic belt the buckle part is painted silver again it looks kind of like pyramid studs the pattern on the skirt goes all the way around and it opens and closes with velcro and the belt is removable and you can change the size she has a lot of bracelets on her left arm she's got this nice silver and metallic cuff and three plastic bracelets a blue a purple and a yellow bracelet and on her other arm she has a bigger silver metallic cuff style bracelet and these absolutely fantastic boots I can't believe Mattel made these boots the funniest thing about this is right before I found out about this doll I was thinking why couldn't Mattel just produce a pair of boots like the ones that I have pictured in my mind that I would love for this diorama and then I saw these on the internet Internet, so it's like I conjured it up out of my imagination or something and the way the boots are made there is a left and a right boot they have an inside and then an outside with the buckles they are slit up the back so because she is a Barbie extra doll she actually has many points of articulation which I like so she can move her head her shoulders go out and then also back and forth as usual she has an elbow joint and her wrists are jointed her hips don't go out to the side very much but they go back and forth as usual and she can bend her knees to sit and her knees also rotate so that you can change her pose and she has flat feet. Here she is wearing her green glasses. The fit isn't great partially because I'm not great at styling dolls and partially I think because they're just a little bit bent from being in the package. She can hold her purse and because of her boots which are flat on the bottom and have a nice thick sole she can actually stand up on her own, which is what she's doing right now. What about you? Do you have any Barbie extra dolls? Do you have this doll? Are you building the goth nightclub of your dreams? Comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for joining me to check out our beautiful Barbie Extra 19. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have, thank you very much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!